And now we have some more wondrous stuff right here. It's like community theater, but on film. This is so cool. We have Carly and Lucas here to talk about Before Your Time is the name of the title. This is a full-length movie put on locally by volunteers. Yes. How did this come about, Lucas? Um, well, it came about with the idea of, like, uh, um, we had a, a bunch of us that uh, wanted to produce local stuff, and I had a bunch of friends that live locally that wanted to get involved, and I, you know, I felt like it was the time. I did a lot of local theater myself, and I always had this itch in the back of my head just to say, you know, what would, what would it be like if we did something on a community level? And nowadays, with the YouTube generation, and you watch high schoolers put out just amazing content right. and you're like well maybe now it's the time and yeah. so I approached a few people and we started putting some things together we made a pitch video got a hundred volunteers signed up right away and that's where we met Carly and, <laughs> and, and now you have a full-length feature yes, film <laughs> we, we auditioned writers and we got a AP English teacher from Davis High School to come and be our head writer and we had a team of writers and and that's yeah. how the story kind of came about and now Two and a half years later, we have this film that you're seeing yeah. online. <laughs> and you're watching some clips right now. Carly, what was it like for you as an actress? What made you want to get involved? Because, again, it wasn't like you were getting paid. No, yeah, well, so I'm a musician. So I had my first album that just got released. I was having a hard time kind of, like, getting out there and promoting myself. But then I saw the pitch video that Lucas put out, and I'm like, hey, like, <laughs> movie. Like, they can use my music. So I just right. submitted my music. I thought that was going to be the end of it. But then um, they're like, hey, well, come to these meetings. Like, come to I'm like, well, okay, like, what do you have to lose? And so I just yeah. went there, and, like, the people involved in this are amazing. And so I just fell in love with the people that were involved in, like, all the stuff that we could do. And then they said, like, hey, try out for a part. And I'm like, okay, I will. And I got it. And, yeah, it's just been a great experience. And you probably made so many connections as Exactly. Well. Like, where, like, I volunteered, so I didn't get money or anything like that. But I think thy experience is more than worth the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell sure. us what the movie is about. What's the theme here, Lucas? Well, the theme of the movie originally was designed... There's a lot of things that people take from it, but it was originally designed on building your life on experiences. And um, the story is about this family that is dealing with the loss of their mom. And they end up having to move back to where their dad grew up. And w in the process, they start to find out stories about their dad that they've never heard before. And they end up having to clean out a garage, and they find this list that their parents made and another person made in the story. And they start to uh, fulfill a lot of things on the list. And they, in the process, kind of heal their family relationship. And, you know, just to have a fun experience. I mean, all the locations are in Davis County. All the musicians are from Davis County and around Davis County. Um, it really is. The soundtrack itself is amazing. It, it has exceeded expectations, which is what we hope for. Content value definitely is greater than the production value because it was volunteers. I mean, you're not looking, f you're not going to get a TC Christensen beautiful image as well, but it's good. It's good. Yeah, and don't downplay it either. It's not terrible looking. You're not going to be it like, It looked oh, good from God. the clips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he always downs so like, it's, it's good. Yeah. No, I, I, I've seen it. I went to the Caseville Theater and saw it. And by the way, really fun theater there in Caseville as well. Yeah. You know, nice locally owned kind of thing. And, yeah. and they showed this, this little, I guess, snippet beforehand from the 80s about... <laughs> yeah, it it's the cute. best Everyone thing. Everyone starts singing along. <laughs> about the theater? Yeah. Well, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun little theater. It's a kids' book tradition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have been for a couple weeks, and mm -hmm. they've shown it for a few more times. Yeah, they've yep. definitely given us our launching pad. It's been great. They've been awesome to work with. Yeah. And we'll be playing... <laughs> it'll be playing through Thanksgiving at Kaysville Theater, and then we're going to have... Um, a dark period. A little small dark period, but we have an announcement. I don't know if we want to do it now. Should or we do it? Sure. Let's do it. We'd love to hear it. Yeah. So uh, Larry H. Miller group has decided to show it at the Legacy Crossing, and they're going to do that in December. Oh, and wow. um, yeah. they, they saw the movie. They told our representative that was talking to them that, that this is a great film. We want to show it. And they're going to show it for a week and see how well we do. So look for us in December. Yeah, yeah. It's, December it's great. 8th. We've, yeah. Centerville Megaplex. We're so excited. Oh, yeah. that's fun. great. And you never know what's to come after this. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's, it's, right. it's about two hours long. If we had to rate it, it would be like G plus. G plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not quite G, not quite PG. Yeah. yeah. And mainly for like thematic. You know, it's just, there's some adult situations in there with 
someone losing a mother and the family coming together. But nothing in there that any family couldn't see. I mean, some Disney movies are PG, so. <laughs> yeah. so bring the family. Well, it yeah. sounds like it's, a great theme. It really does, you. especially for this season, too. I think you guys are premiering it and yeah. playing it at a good time of the year. Yeah. Thank you. It's, 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 it's been wonderful, been better than we, we would have expected. And the music, again, Phil Stokes did the score, and mm -hmm. he's a local musician. So Hire good. him. <laughs> <laughs> so it plugs for everyone. Well, yeah. Lucas and Carly, congratulations. Thank you. Job well done.